found on the edit page, the mixer module over here is used to adjust the amplitude or the blend of the two sources that excite the resonators, and that's a mallet and or the noise generator. Now the mallet knob over here adds in the force impact of the mallet hitting the resonators, where the noise knob adds in the impact of the noise generator exciting the resonators. And then they each have their own direct knob, which adds signal from the mallet or the noise source over here to the output signal of the resonators. So let's explore this. I'm gonna turn off the noise generator and I've got the mallet turned up. So we'll hear this striking these two resonators. So we're going up and down the keyboard range all at even velocities, as you can see here, and they all sound the same, but we can modulate the amplitude here based either on key tracking or velocity. So with all these playing the same velocities, I'm gonna dial this down and you'll hear now that the lower octaves will play back louder and as it goes up higher, we'll hear less amplitude then. Versus when it's in the other range, for example, up here, at plus 12 dB per octave, the lower octave is gonna be quieter and as it gets higher, it'll get louder. And just to continue our clinical look at it, here I've got that same pattern, but with velocities starting low and ascending throughout the pattern. So let me double click this to reset it. And here, as I track with velocity, I'll go into negative values and then the lower velocities will be louder and the higher velocities will be quieter. The opposite of what you'd expect. And as I dial it the other way to modulate in that direction, we'll get an exaggeration of the quiet velocities being quiet and the higher velocities being louder. And of course, when we double click in the velocity modulation zone, it'll reset to neutral. So let's go back here to even velocities and we'll hear that we can dial in the direct sound of the mallet striking after it leaves the resonators. Now let's explore the noise module. I'm gonna turn off the mallet for a moment and we can adjust the amplitude here. And then of course have it affect the output as well. Let's dial that down and we have the same type of key tracking and velocity modulation possible, but we can also modulate it with an LFO, which gives some really interesting results. So I'm gonna turn on the LFO module, which is a repeating cyclical waveform. And I have it set to a triangular rate here. And if I press sync, the rate that it'll go through these waveforms will be based on these rhythmic musical values. And we can dial in the LFO modulation this way with the knob, either in positive or negative ranges. Let's blend in some of the mallet. So that's a nice way to add some rhythmic character to the impact as the resonators are being excited. That's the mixer module. 